Hey guys, um, this is 277 here, and this is my new gun. This is the HNK 416D. What that means is this is a gun based off of the M16 and M4, so it's a mix between both, and it's got a couple of its own features, which is awesome. Um, I'm, I'm going to start with the internals because I bought this used. Uh, with a lot of internal upgrades. So this has a Mad Bull Type 4 barrel. It's got a Classic Army gearbox. It's got a Classic Army piston, full metal, and a reinforced spring. We also have the JG Red Type motor, and that's pretty much all there is on the inside, other than some rewiring in the back of it. Now I'll get to the gun. This gun has a six position crane stock, full extended. The unique thing about this gun, or this stock, is when you do have a battery in there, it is still fully functional. The battery does not stop it from going too far or too close. So that's a good thing. Um, next we have the sling mounts. There's one on each side, so if you're a righty or lefty. This is the forward assist non-working, does nothing. Then we have the charging handle and what this does is you pull it back it opens this compartment right here where you can adjust your hop up. Okay, then down here we've got the symbols for the amb ambidextrous uh, trigger selections or the selector switch and we've got our plastic pistol grip with the motor inside. And we've got our metal trigger and our metal trigger guard. On the side, we've got the trigger sele uh, selector switch. Um, right here, we've got, of course, the mag release, which is non ambidextrous. Then we've got our full metal magazine. This is an extra D Boys magazine, the guy sold it with me. Uh, to it with me. Um, then it's got the H and K um, factory logo, and then it's got the other logo for the 416D. Let's look up here with our huge rail. This gun has a huge rail. You guys might be thinking, what do you need it for? In fact, this gun can shoot very far. It's very accurate at far ranges. I think I've gotten some hits at 160 feet, like one or two at 200 feet. So you guys can mount a pretty big scope on here, like a rifle scope, a uh, sniper rifle scope. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw on a red dot sight, and it's going to be a nice little thing. Um, then we've got this rail up here, which is very nice, four-sided, like usual. Uh, the, uh, the guy gave it to me with, uh, to me with this forward handle. I kind of like it. I'm not really sure about it. I mean, it's kind of cheap, but I don't know. I'm, I'm still thinking because uh, I don't know. I haven't played with it yet in the field. Then we got the front sight. Uh, mine is kind of loose and broken because it is a used gun. So I'm going to take that off. Like I said, I'm going to put the red dot here. And another, uh, it's got the sling mounts. The other cool thing he included with the gun is this mock silencer, which is negative and positively thread. This gun is negative thread. And this is a sniper, um, well, they call it the sniper mock silencer. And um, that's pretty much all this gun is. It holds uh, 300 BBs in each of these M4 magazines. These are high capacity magazines. Um, it's, it's overall a great gun. It, it shoots very accurate. I think I hit the target 20 out of 20 times from about 100 feet. And I think, let's see, it was, I hit it 15 out of 20 from 150 feet. And from 200 feet, I hit about 10 of them. So overall, it's a great gun. It's accurate. It shoots fast. It's got like four, 450 FPS. Um, real nice. Um, I think one of the reasons it can shoot so far is because of the upgraded parts, which you guys might want to look into doing. This is an expensive gun, 
by itself, but you can throw in these extra parts and it makes it that much better. Um, I love this gun. It's going to be my primary for a long time. Uh, this is going to be my primary. I'm going to have my M1911 for my secondary. And uh, yeah, uh, overall a great gun. Um, and yeah, so comment, subscribe, dislike it or like it. Uh, tell me what I can do better. If you have any extra questions about this gun, you can shoot them right down in there, which would be the comments. Um, you guys can recommend me some guns. This was recommended by one of my best friends. He told me to look up the 416 because I like the M16 and M4. And I thought it was a great gun, so I bought it used. And the guy threw in some parts because he was, I don't know, he, he's a great guy, I know. And uh, yeah, so I looked into this. It was a little expensive. Um, this was used, so it was $200. I think I got it really cheap, though, because of the upgraded parts. Um, but overall, it's a great gun. So this is 27 out.